Today, the demand for organs in our nation is extraordinary. At this very moment, more than 100,000 people are waiting for an organ transplant. Of those 100,000 people, 85,000 are waiting specifically for kidneys. Sadly, only one in four kidney patients will receive an organ transplant. Should the compensation of donors for organ donation be prohibited by law as it is today? Would a legal market that compensates kidney donors, giving them an incentive to help those in need, make a sizable dent in the shortage of organs that is driving the black market today? Stay with me. Paying people to donate their kidneys. I know. It sounds really ghoulish. It sounds really icky. But they're your kidneys, and it really helps people in need. So if you want to sell one, why not? Postrell is an author and former editor of <clears throat> Reason Magazine. You live just as well with one kidney as with two. And the transplant procedure is safer than you might think. We've never had a kidney donor death at our program here. Dr. Gabriel Danovich is medical director of the Kidney and Pancreas Transplant Program at UCLA. It's approximately the same as the death rate after having an appendixectomy. But each year, about 3,000 Americans die while on the waiting list. I don't know whether it will ever be adequate to keep up with the number of people because there are so many people in this country with diabetes and high blood pressure and all the other things that set people up to, uh, to develop advanced kidney disease. We've got to find a better way. Otherwise, patients face death or dialysis. Is there a way to make the procurement system more efficient? Should we pay for organs? If so, how should such a legal market be structured and regulated? And what are the ethical and practical concerns raised by the buying and selling of human organs? The most straightforward approach would be simply to repeal the federal law that makes it a crime to sell organs. But Danovich says that would be a dreadful mistake. Because they don't care about each other. He says money would take the caring out of the donor-recipient relationship. We're going to take the caring out of it and it's become a matter of paying off people. But Pastrell points out that donors are the only ones in the transplant process who aren't compensated. The surgeons are paid, the people who supply the medicines are paid, the, the people who you know, clean the floors in the hospitals are paid, everybody's paid, uh, but not the donors. But would people be less likely to help others if money were involved? Voluntary donors actually feel good about themselves. The pay donation actually is a subversive uh, uh, process that actually undermines voluntary donation. Think of, you know, soldiers or firefighters. We respect their service, we appreciate their heroism, but we also pay them for their work. People who've gone abroad to buy kidneys. So is there a country where selling kidneys is legal? Well, yes. Iran has a system of paid kidney donation. We don't have a lot of good data, but evidence suggests that many of those donors are very dissatisfied. Yes, well, we usually don't associate Iran with compassionate health care. They don't feel good about themselves. Their lives have not really been improved. The money they got did not really solve their problems. A new study finds problems with the Iranian system, but the author, himself a kidney specialist, also discovered that payment succeeds in a very important way. Iran is the only nation in the world with no waiting list for kidneys. China is now a world center of the organ transplant industry. But it's an industry that is based on one rather horrifying statistic that China executes more people every year than the rest of the world put together. The hospital says the prisoners all donate their organs voluntarily. But this is how prisoners in China go to their deaths. This is a public execution rally from July this year. This man's name is Yu Jianfang. The noose around his neck is to choke him if he tries to call out. Is this man really in a position to make a free choice about donating his organs? Back at the hospital, the cafeteria buzzing with foreigners. Last year, this hospital performed 600 liver transplants, each costing 50,000 pounds or more. Organs are now big business in China, but it's one built on death and deception. 